Affix, Wikipedia article audio. In linguistics, an affix is a morpheme that is attached to a word stem to form a new word or word form. Affixes may be derivational, like English ness and pre, or inflectional, like English plural s and past tense ed. They are bound morphemes by definition, prefixes and suffixes may be separable affixes. Affixations, the linguistic process speakers use form different words by adding morphemes at the beginning, the middle, or the end of words. Affixes are divided into many categories, depending on their position with reference to the stem. Prefix and suffix are extremely common terms. Infix and circumfix are less so, as they are not important in European languages. The other terms are uncommon. Positional categories of affixes Lexical affixes Prefix and suffix may be subsumed under the term adfix, in contrast to infix. When marking text for interlinear glossing, as in the third column in the chart above, Simple affixes such as prefixes and suffixes are separated from the stem with hyphens. Affixes which disrupt the stem, or which themselves are discontinuous, are often marked off with angle brackets. Reduplication is often shown with a tilde. Affixes which cannot be segmented are marked with a backslash. Lexical affixes are bound elements that appear as affixes but function as incorporated nouns within verbs and as elements of nouns. In other words, they are similar to word roots slash stems in function but similar to affixes in form. Although similar to incorporated nouns, lexical affixes differ in that they never occur as freestanding nouns, i.e. they always appear as affixes. Lexical affixes are relatively rare. The Wakishan, Salishan, and Chimaquan languages all have lexical suffixes. The presence of these is an aerial feature of the Pacific Northwest of the North America. The lexical suffixes of these languages often show little to no resemblance to free nouns with similar meanings. Compare the lexical suffixes and free nouns of Northern Straits Sonich written in the Sonich orthography and in Americanist notation. Orthographic affixes Lexical suffixes, when compared with free nouns, often have a more generic or general meaning. For instance, one of these languages may have a lexical suffix that means water in a general sense, but it may not have any noun equivalent referring to water in general and instead have several nouns with a more specific meaning. In other cases, the lexical suffixes have become grammaticalized to various degrees. Some linguists have claimed that these lexical suffixes provide only adverbial or adjectival notions to verbs. Other linguists disagree arguing that they may additionally be syntactic arguments just as free nouns are and, thus, equating lexical suffixes with incorporated nouns. Gertz gives examples of lexical suffixes in the Halkamelum language. In sentence, the verb wash is ak ts where ak is the root and t and s are inflectional suffixes. The subject the woman is sini and the object the baby is kek. In this sentence, the baby is a free noun. In sentence, baby does not appear as a free noun. Instead it appears as the lexical suffix y which is affixed to the verb root k dash. Note how the lexical suffix is neither the baby nor a baby, such referential changes are routine with incorporated nouns. In orthography, the terms for affixes may be used for the smaller elements of conjunct characters. For example, Myoglyphs are generally compounds of a main sign and smaller affixes joined at its margins. These are called prefixes, superfixes, postfixes, and subfixes according to their position to the left, 
on top, to the right, or at the bottom of the main glyph. A small glyph placed inside another is called an infix. Similar terminology is found with the conjunct consonants of the Indic alphabets. For example, the Tibetan alphabet utilizes prefix, suffix, superfix, and subfix consonant letters. Bibliography